This Crestwood Cadet Coach Conversation brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service. We're with head coach Justin Denner. And coach, you opened up the season with a 26-14 win at Decorah last Friday night. Uh, obviously, the result you're very happy with. Uh, what overall did you take from that game? Um, I was I was really pleased with uh, how hard our guys played. Um, you know, we talked about, you know, not flinching. Uh, things were going to go well for them. Things were going to go well for us. Um, but when, you know, things did go well for them to, to you know, stand tall um, and be ready for it. And, you know, both times, you know, they had a chance to, to tie the game um, in that first half. We had a big defensive stand uh, down uh, in the red zone and then used that to turn it into points right before half, which was huge for us. And then when they scored right at the beginning of the second half, um, we responded again and, uh, you know, scored to make it back to a two score game. So, um, you know, our resilience and how hard our guys, our guys played was was huge for us. Obviously, that was a big win uh, for your program, and that's a win that's going to resonate in the community for a little while, beating a team that you haven't beaten for quite some time. How do you make sure that uh, you put that one here on the, in the rearview mirror, at least by midweek, and uh, focus on the task at hand this week? Yeah, you know, it, it was huge for our guys. You know, it was something um, that our seniors had set forth way back in the spring that was, you know, one of their top goals was to, uh, you know, beat Decorah because um, it hadn't been done, you know, in 19 years. Um, so it was huge for us there. Um, you know, it, it, you know, the idea was, okay, you know, let's enjoy it over the weekend because, you know, that's, you know, we've earned that part of it. But then, you know, come Monday and now it's, you know, we've got even uh, an even tougher test this upcoming Friday. Um, and we've got to be, you know, a significantly better football team um, if we want any shot to, to do anything on Friday night. Um, and so that's what we've been trying to do is, is continue to get better. You rushed the ball for 277 yards and averaged 5.4 yards a rush. That doesn't happen without good offensive line play. How good was your line last Friday? Um, our line was outstanding. Um, you know, we had we had a couple guys, um, you know, with a few injuries throughout the course of the game, one with, uh, you know, a little bit of an ankle injury. And then we had some, you know, everybody was kind of dealing with cramping um, on Friday night. And uh, we had, you know, whoever we just threw in there, um, you know, did their job. And, um, you know, we were, we were trying, that was our goal was to be the top for football team. And, um, you know, they really stepped up and, you know, the, the best part is we still have a lot of room to grow. Um, and so that's what we're trying to do. But, um, you know, everything that we did was, uh, um, you know, ultimately uh, a testament to what they did in the trenches for us. A very good statistical night for your senior quarterback, Cole Butikoff, for 169 yards on the ground, four touchdowns, threw the ball a little bit as well. How uh, how would you assess his uh, week one performance? Uh, yeah, Cole did outstanding. Um, you know, he was, uh, you know, we had, we kind of gave a little bit of a different wrinkle with our heavy package for, for them that they hadn't seen yet. And, you know, that involved him uh, carrying the ball a lot more than, um, you know, we probably would have liked. Um, but he, uh, you know, he kind of had the hot hand, so we were riding it. And, you know, he, um, you know, he read, read his blocks well. He was very patient. Um, got some tough yards for us when we needed it. And, you know, when we got into the red zone, we could call his number. And, um, you know, it was huge. And it was a, it was a great stepping stone for him um, and something that we're looking to continue to build off of. One uh, thing on the defensive side of the ball, looking at the stack sheet, uh, sophomore Brock Voina, seven tackles, five solo tackles, also had a pick in the game. Uh, what made things work for Brock last Friday? Yeah, Brock, Brock's been, um, you know, steadily improving for us. You know, he's a sophomore. Um, a guy that we we knew um, we had to get on the field in some way. And, uh, you know, he stepped up. He had a really great game in terms of, you know, his reads and, and getting fits and um, was the benefit of, you know, our defensive line doing a really good job um, keeping, you know, some guys off of, you know, our LBs. And, um, you know, doing uh, – so he was kind of the beneficiary of that. And then, you know, he was in the right place at the right time with the pick, which was huge for us. Um, you know, they were driving and – um, we were up, you know, seven at the time and um, got a nice tip and, you know, get the pick there. And, um, you know, he's played really well. And we're looking to, you know, continue for him to develop as well. Obviously, the result was what you wanted. Uh, you did a lot of good things. What taps the uh, things you need to get better on based on your game play last Friday? Yeah, you know, ultimately it's, it's you know, making sure that we're, you know, fundamentally with our base offense and base defense um, getting to where we need to be. Um, you know, I thought – you know, we were kind of hoping, um, you know, yeah, Cole had a great game with, you know, 25 carries or whatever it was. 
Um, but ultimately we'd like that number to be around, you know, 10 to 15. And then Maurice has, you know, maybe that 15 to 20 with our tailbacks and so forth there. And so, you know, we need to improve our base offense here and um, continue to get better on our, you know, with um, our base defense. We gave up a few big plays that kind of bugging me a little bit still. Um, and a lot of it was just, uh, you know, guys not, you know, finishing their job. And so we've been kind of harping on that, making sure we get to where we need to be there. You mentioned the tough task you got uh, coming up Friday night. Uh, Waverly Show Rock, a highly ranked team in 4A, coming to town on Friday night. Looking at the film from their first game against Wacon, what impresses you the most? Uh, they're they're an insanely good football program, man. Um, you know they've got some they got some really big dudes and really fast dudes. Um, you know Newsom Haggerty um, is a is probably one of the best one two punches you're going to get um, in terms of guys carrying the football or getting the ball in their hands. Um, I was very impressed with their quarterback. I thought he played a very smart game for them. Um, you know, and their line was very solid. Uh, you know, so it'll be it'll be a, a a great challenge for us, a great opportunity to kind of see where we're at um, with one of the you know top programs in, in Class Four A there. Um, but you know, we're excited for it. We get them at home, um, so you know, it'll be a great challenge for us there, and, and we're excited to see what we can do. All right, Coach. Congrats on the Week One win. Uh... Keep your kids healthy. Uh, hopefully you can open some eyes with a, uh, another great performance uh, coming up uh, this Friday night. We wish best of luck. Appreciate it. Go Cadets. And that is Crestwood coach Justin Denner, and he's brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service.